Gnosis is, at least in the blockchain world, you guys are the premier, um, premier project when it comes to production markets. There's another project by the name of Augur, and you know, a lot of people all, I, I, I bet you heard so many times of people comparing you to, you to each other, especially with um, Augur releasing their, their DAP and whatnot. You know, tell us, how, I mean, from your perspective, how are you two different? Yeah, so first of all, Augur is doing a great job. Uh, I think it's great that they finally released their product and um, to be frank, they started very early uh, with prediction markets. Uh, so yeah, they were also pioneering the ICO space. So they did a really a, a lot of great things. Um, so what makes Gnosis different from Augur? Essentially, our business models, if you compare it, if you just compare business models, then our business models are complementary. Uh, so, of course, everyone believes we are doing only prediction markets, but essentially, for Augur, prediction markets are just a great use case uh, for the decentralized oracle. Mm -hmm. uh, the business model is around the decentralized oracle. And prediction markets just benefit from this oracle, but the oracle might also be used in other scenarios. Um, so, prediction markets are actually not, not, I would say it's not the core thing of Augur, actually, at least not from the uh, token economics or the business model. Mm. Uh, and for Gnosis, it's the same. Yeah. Prediction markets are a great tool to create new types of assets, these conditional tokens. And those tokens, they have to be traded somewhere. Yeah. And for this, we are building, we are trying to build the most efficient exchange for those types of tokens. Yeah. And yeah, so we try to monetize the trading engine and Augur tries to monetize the decentralized Oracle. So it's two different things. They can be complement they, they are complementary. So if someone creates an Augur prediction market using the Augur Oracle, those tokens can still be traded on our exchange. Okay. And of course you can create a Nose prediction market using the Augur decentralized Oracle. So both is possible and that's why we are friends and not enemies <laughs> um, or competitors. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I, I wish Orga best of luck. I think the release showed that there is huge interest in prediction markets, which is great. Mm -hmm. It also showed that we, we are still lacking of efficient market mechanisms to make it actually work. So if you look at Orga markets, they have over 1000 markets, I believe, but hardly any of, any of them is traded. Mm -hmm. And the reason of, for this is inefficient markets. Um, which is just also shown by the fact that there's huge spreads in most of the markets, up to 30%, which is too much to actually allow efficient trading. Mm -hmm. And that's why we at Gnosis, we focus on yeah, building market mechanisms which can solve this and allow efficient trading of those tokens. 